and as long as he sought the Lord God made him to prosper who makes men prosper one more time who makes men prosper make no mistakes about it when you see anyone lifted blessed adorned with glory God is behind it God made him there is a name God is called he's called a maker he does not just make the heavens and the earth alone he's a maker of men the maker of ministries the maker of destinies and that same God is making someone's life today turning you to Beulah and Hephzibah making beauty out of your life when God is in you by the in the person of the Holy Spirit that does an inner work within you to prepare you but there is a dimension for the journey it's not God in you it's God with you most people do not know the secrets of carrying the manifested presence of God I learned this mystery in the life of a man called e, I mean A.W. Tozer I read a book the practice of divine presence the practice of his presence that a man can carry you can literally the Holy Ghost can be in you and it looks like you are not even saved but when that Shekinah that glory rests upon you there is something it does to you that it would do for you the same thing it did for the rod of Aaron that even though it did not have root it still bordered there is something that happens to a man when you pay the price in righteousness to be a worthy host of divine presence I have seen what divine presence can do are we together now divine presence you carry divine presence as a man of God you will walk wonders by the Spirit of God I can tell you divine presence secures favor divine presence can open doors there are many things you will not need to pray for if you carry divine presence the Lord walking with them walking with them no wonder some of them went somewhere and spirits and devils were just crying how about Jesus have you come to destroy us before our time divine presence manifested presence not just omnipresence and let me tell you this there are two keys I wish I was teaching I, 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 you, you, I wanted to listen to my teaching I've done several teachings around the presence of God and encounters right we considered Zephaniah the Lord in the midst of his people is mighty but there are two keys that I've learned in my work with God that can help a man secure the manifested presence of God in your life number one is the depth of your love for God the depth of your passion 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 for God John chapter 14 please and verse 21 John 14 let's hurry up and verse 21 he that keepeth my commandments he it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father read with me koinonia and i will love him and will manifest myself to him will manifest myself to him i'm praying that we not only become carriers of knowledge but carriers of that divine presence that you stand close to someone and the person does not even know what is happening chains are breaking you are not talking yet you brought an atmosphere you brought tremendous energy presence are we together as a preacher when you stand on stage what you are serving is beyond an information you are also giving people access to the presence that you came with from your secret place there are many things they should receive beyond the words they are hearing there is a spirit activity that must go beyond your speakings you may be teaching on anything for that matter and yet what they are receiving there is a witness in their spirit that i am getting more than what this man is saying now their minds cannot process it because it is spirit transaction it will take a while for them to see that something was deposited in all you're getting don't just get knowledge contend for presence the depth of your love for God that is expressed in your devotion not empty I love you not empty I love you consecration and devotion are two keys that connect to love devotion 
they followed wholly, not half-heartedly, not one leg in, one leg out, wholly. And then number two, the second key that secures divine presence is obedience. When I sent you, not when you left, not when you wanted to go, when I sent you, lackest thou anything, including the presence that backed you. There are many people doing things God did not ask them to do, and God will not back what he did not command. If you are obeying a lie, you are still disobeying. Hmm. Divine presence. Ladies and gentlemen, I have learned this with all humility as a secret. I have seen what the presence of God can do. You see, every spirit, born again or not, regenerate or not, regenerated or not, any spirit can detect the presence of God. So you can stand close to someone and not know why you want to bless him and not know why you want to help him. It's not always about wisdom. They are carrying something that is compelling blessings from your spirit. This is what you can carry as a man of God that will draw people who do not know you. They will travel distances and come. They cannot tell what is pulling them. It's called presence. Divine presence. You can, you can copy a man of God, Simon, but you don't copy presence. You can say exactly what was said and not see the effect. Exactly. Same scripture, same preaching, same emphasis, same example, but there will be no life because there was no presence. Can I tell you the truth? When you carry presence, you will save yourself the pressure of always trying to say something new. You will focus on being fresh. Presence is responsible for freshness. The food that you eat biologically from the day you were born till today, they are countable. You can write them on a paper, yet you have not died. But every time you eat, the reason why you survive is because you eat freshness, not necessarily newness. Listen, let me tell you why as men of God, when we prepare sermons, we still take the time to pray and brood over it because a good sermon without the presence factor will fall on deaf ears it remains as a lecture no matter how intelligent let me advise you as a man of god after preparing your notes place it on the ground and lie there in prayer let your presence that presence factor you are preparing for a miracle service or a crusade and all you bought was clothes and tie, you will be disappointed in a very brutal way. That your disappointment will be a lesson for many people. This is what a lot of people do. Don't be beguiled by all this protocol that escorts. The, no. Even those who practice witchcraft know. They stay first. There is an incubation. It's called marination. Women will understand. You put meat and just leave it in a sauce for hours and something happens there is there is that marination and from it you come out and there are things you will not have to say again the more you carry the presence the less the noise the less the noise but the louder the sound i tell you the louder the sound the sound of impact the sound of deliverance Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Blessed is he. In the name of our God, let's say to see who comes in the name of our God. I will manifest myself. Man of God, learn this as a secret. Carry presence. Don't just carry Bible. Carry presence. Carry presence. Don't just carry information. The presence of God. 
be marinated in that presence soak in that glory be rubbed up in that glory and come out that's where the word baptizo comes you are immersed you have become one with that glory you come out from that atmosphere sufficiency presence listen there are many things you will not look for if you find the presence of God second Chronicles 25 26 and verse 5 second Chronicles 26 and verse 5 presence let's hurry up we have a lot to do let's read together and he sought God first four words and he sought and he sought he sought God not things God not a name God not power God not a platform God not a preaching opportunity he sought God in the days of Zechariah who had the understandings of the vision of God read with me koinonia and as long as he sought the Lord God made him to prosper who makes men prosper one more time who makes men prosper make no mistakes about it when you see anyone lifted blessed adorned with glory God is behind it God made him there is a name God is called he's called a maker he does not just make the heavens and the earth alone he's a maker of men the maker of ministries the maker of destinies and that same God is making someone's life today turning you to Beulah and Hephzibah making beauty out of your life hallelujah please sit down please sit down the first spiritual resource you need we have to hurry is called divine presence I have to stop 